Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wiley Smead Drake, and I'm coming to you today under the auspices of an organization that we began back in the year 2000. That organization is called Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. dot org. You can go to that website, Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. dot org, and check us out. But I want to talk to you today about what I believe is a movement of the Holy Spirit of God. You know, the Bible says that God mentions to us that a three-part cord is difficult to break. And a three-part emphasis on that cord and a three-part emphasis is what I want to talk to you about today. All under the auspices of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. Now, I have already mentioned and already shared that I believe because we have a chaplain's office for the House and a chaplain's office for the Senate, we ought to have a chaplain's office for the White House. And we'll talk more about that later. I'm not sure what God wants us to do with that, but I believe that's another one of those three-part cords, the three chaplain offices, the White House, the congressional chaplain, and the Senate chaplain. Now, I want to talk to you today, though, about a different three-part cord under the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. I believe the first part ought to be we need to have a chaplain for our president. Many presidents down through the years has relied upon spiritual leaders. But I believe it behooves us as a nation today with the revival that is going on of sin and the revival of righteousness that we indeed have a righteous chaplain in the White House. Now, the three-part chord that I want to talk to you about tonight is, first of all, that chaplaincy under the Congressional Prayer Conference. The second one I want you to consider is another organization that's called Prayer Warriors for Trump. Prayer Warriors for Trump. Now, if the chaplains are going to be effective, they must have prayer. That's a given. But if the chaplain for the White House is going to be affected, he must have prayer warriors praying for him. And so a minister friend of mine, Johnny Rice, has started an organization that you can check out. You go on Facebook, and you'll find it under the title, Prayer Warriors for Trump. That's the second part of the cord that I believe is going to be hard to break. And the third part of the cord goes along with prayer warriors, goes along with the theme of warriorship, and that is the shofar call international. If we're going to be successful, we're going to have to have a good chaplain, we're going to have to have prayer warriors, and we're going to have to have prayer warriors that are not afraid to be outgoing. And one of those ways to be outgoing is shofar call international. Right now, I'm going to blow the shofar. David commanded his warriors into battle, and I believe we need to command our warriors into battle. I believe, under the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., we started back in 2000, that we're going to continue now to work on the concept of a chaplain for the White House, and we're going to work on the concept of prayer warriors for Mr. Trump, and we're going to blow the shofar under Shofar Call International. Those are the three parts to what I believe will be a very strong chord of contention against the devil. We will cooperate. We will not all do it in the same way. We will not do it from the same denominational point of view. 
but we are going to come, ladies and gentlemen, under the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. Check that website out. Again, it's a long one, but check it out. It's Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. org. The second one is Prayer Warriors for Trump. You'll find that on Facebook, Prayer Warriors for Trump. And the third part, the third part of that cord is to be indeed a shofar blower, shofar call international. And I would encourage you to blow the shofar with me and with shofar call international, Brother Dennis McKillahan, as well as other folks that are involved there with prayer warriors for Trump, our minister in the Lord, our Brother Johnny Rice, and I'd ask that you'd pray for me as well as the chairman for the Congressional Prayer Conference. Now, the chairmanship also has a co-chair. The co-chair is a gentleman by the name of Clyde Rivers, and we would encourage you to pray for him. So the threefold cord is Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., Prayer Warriors for Trump, and Shofar Call International. I hope you will be a part of that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the telephone line right now, and you're welcome to call us and join us. If you have a comment about any one of these three, that is Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C.org, or Prayer Warriors for Trump on Facebook, or Shofar Call International. If any of you are any part of these organizations, Brother Dennis McKillahan, if you're watching, I would encourage you to join us uh, because we would love to hear from you today. But these three organizations are going to be praying for and supporting the battle cry that is based on 2 Chronicles 7, 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, from their wicked ways. Then he said, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, this three-part cord is to bring about healing. It may not agree with everything you agree to, but I believe we can all agree that we need revival and we need support. We need the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. org to support we also need prayer warriors for Trump to support us, and we need our marching command from the Shofar Call International, from the mighty Shofar of God's Holy Word. Now, I want to remind you that if you would like to join, in fact, we're talking about these organizations, we're going to talk about the one, the Congressional Prayer Conference, of course, is at the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. org. Now, also, tonight, after this show, we're going to be using the second part of that three-part cord, and that is the Prayer Warriors for Trump. At 6 o'clock tonight, West Coast time, and 9 o'clock East Coast time, there's a phone number that's open for you to call on the Prayer Warriors for Trump. That number is 701-801-9679. And I would encourage you uh, to continue to pray with us. And uh, we thank the Lord for that opportunity. Now, we want to remind you, at 6 o'clock tonight, we will be on that prayer line. 701-801-9679. And that's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I would also remind you that uh, we have a phone line open right now. If you would like to call us and be on the phone line with us, you're welcome to do so. We have an open conference call line that you can call in and talk about these three areas of prayer and warriorship. The call number is uh, 
712-432-1690. Once again, that's 712-432-1690. Once you call that number, it will ask you to identify yourself, and we ask you to do that. And then we ask you to put in your access code, 399-430-POUND. And please contact us and please connect uh, to be with us there on that phone number. 712-432-1690, access code 399-430-POUND, and join us. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a comment, you have input, you have something you'd like to share, you have a prayer request, we'd love to pray with you and for you in your prayer request, and we encourage you to call. Now, we'd also encourage you to call at that 6 o'clock hour here in California, the 9 o'clock hour back in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, and join us on that number. You don't need an access code. You just need the number, 701-801-9679. And that will be facilitated by Minister Johnny Rice. It will also uh, have me present. I'll be on there with you. And we would encourage you to come on and be on with us. So, the threefold cord that I believe God has twisted together, if you will, is the Congressional Prayer Conference of WashingtonDC.org and Prayer Warriors for Trump on Facebook and Shofar Call International that you can find on the internet as well with Brother Dennis McKerahan. So we thank the Lord for you being here with us tonight and would encourage you to call us right now and share any prayer requests that you might have. And we thank the Lord uh, for all that he is doing. Now, I want to remind you that tomorrow, there's another special meeting tomorrow. One of our dear friends in the Lord, our brother in Christ, Brother E.W. Jackson, is going to be on tomorrow at 12 noon. At 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, we will join them and we will be with them on this special prayer line. Evangelist Alveda King will be on with us. Evangelist Alveda King, my dear sister in the Lord. And Reverend C.L. Bryant. C.L. Bryant will be with us. And let me just share with you what Brother uh, E.W. is sharing with us. Brother E.W. Jackson is said, I am thrilled, he said, to announce our two guests for the week's telephone call. Alveda King, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Reverend C.L. Bryant will be joining us to discuss recent events in our country, and how we can come together and heal our land. On Friday, our country witnessed the beginning of a new era. We survived eight years of very poor leaders who sought to fundamentally transform America and do away with semblances of the Christian heritage and righteous law. We fought back, and now we have a leader who promises to restore and protect the institutions and ideas that made, a great, made, made America great. And we're going to hold his feet to the fire. That's why we are on the Congressional Prayer Conference. That's why we're going to have prayer warriors for Trump. And that's why we're going to blow the shofar Shofar Call International. Our new president has taken office at a time when radical racial tensions are swirling and identifying politics and tearing us apart. Dr. Alveda King, my sister in the Lord, and C.L. Bryan, our brother, are voices of reason and wisdom in the midst of a misleading media and their reports and their divisive narrative put out by the left, the bad guys. And you will see, uh, you can hear more about Dr. King. You can hear more 
about Mr. Bryant as well, and we'll talk more about them. But we want to encourage you. We're going to do a special edition of the Wiley Drake Show tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and we will be on the line with Brother E.W. and Sister Alveda and Brother C.L. Bryant. So we would encourage you to be there and be a part. E.W. Jackson is a nationwide leader of an organization called National Awakening Coalition Conference Call. And he also works and leads Shepherds, the organization called STAND, S-T-A-N-D. And that stands for Stand True to America's National Destiny, S-T-A-N-D. So, the threefold cord has been established, in my opinion, and that is the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. It is also, a part of that is Prayer Warriors for Trump on Facebook and Shofar Call International. Those three parts will come together with Brother McCall, with our sister Alveda, with our brother Bryant, and with others, and let us continue to answer Second Chronicles 7, 14, which said, If my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, he said, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to share a prayer request, if you would like to share a comment, call us on this prayer line number, 712-432-1690. When you call it, put in your access code, 399-430-POUND, and join us. And we would love to have you on the prayer line with us. Now, don't forget, after this program is over, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be on a separate prayer line, another prayer line, 701-801-9679. And you can join us on that prayer line as well with the Prayer Warriors for Trump. Minister Johnny Rice will be facilitating that. And then we will also, during that time, be exercising Shofar Call International's instructions on doing what I'm going to do right now and what I did just a little while ago, and that is... <laughs> the shofar, bringing together the threefold cord of Congressional Prayer Conference, Prayer Warriors for Trump, and Shofar Call International. I believe God is going to use us to work together. We're three very succinct and separate organizations, and yet our goal together is Second Chronicles 7.14. And one of the other organizations that has joined us and will be joining us is an organization called Family Research Council, and they're out of Washington as well. Now, FRC has written a prayer for us that is based on 2 Chronicles 7.14, and that prayer says this, I will answer God's call to fall, on my knees in humility and seek his face in repentance so that he might forgive my sin and heal our land. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our goal. We may be different. We may be different races. We may be different denominations. But I believe we have some togetherness that will bring about a revival in America. I believe if the Congressional Prayer Conference of WashingtonDC.org and the Prayer Warriors for Trump and the Shofar Call International will work together with people like 
Family Research Council, and other organizations, I believe we can come together and do a great work under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Now, I put out a press release just today in reference to something I believe we ought to do. You know, we do have the House of Representatives in Congress, and they have a chaplain. We also have the Senate there that has a chaplain. But we have the president now, and he does not, to the best of my knowledge, have a chaplain. So I want us to establish a position of chaplain for the White House. And I hope you will pray with me if you agree with me about that. And I hope you'll pray that God will lead us to help the president and help the government find a great chaplain for the White House. Ladies and gentlemen, it should not be a surprise, but we need chaplains. The military needs chaplains. The House of Representatives needed a chaplain. The Senate needs a chaplain. And I believe that the White House of the United States and the President also need a chaplain. And we're going to do our best to get that established. If you would like to call us and let us know anything that you'd like to share about that, please feel free to do so. You can call us right now. You can call us on 712-432-1690. Put in your access code 399-430-POUND and join us. Or at 9 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time, you can join us on another prayer line, and that prayer line is 701-801-9679. Join us and pray with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe God has brought this three-fold cord together. Many years ago, I did a study in the Scripture. In fact, it ended up being my doctor's dissertation, and that is the body, soul, and spirit, the triune nature of man. And I studied that, and I presented it in that dissertation. And I would encourage you to get a copy of my little book. It's called The Triune Nature of Man, Body, Soul, and Spirit. And I'm hoping that we can bring together the threefold cord of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., the Prayer Warriors for Trump, and the Shofar Call International to blow the Shofar. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at war, and we must act like it. A number of years ago, a dear friend of mine in Washington uh, by the name of uh, Dick Simmons said, if we're going to be successful for God, and if God's going to be successful with us, we must have a wartime mentality. That is, we must realize we're soldiers of the cross, and we must dedicate ourselves as good soldiers to be soldiers in God's army. So, would you join us in this three-part chord that I believe God has brought together, that three-part chord of Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., Prayer Warriors for Trump, and Shofar Call International. Please join us on any of these prayer calls and prayer numbers. And also, like I said, don't forget to join us on the prayer call for the National Awakening Coalition Conference Call, and that's tomorrow morning at noontime, D.C. time, and you can join us, and we would encourage you to do so. Let me give you that phone number. That is for tomorrow. That phone number is 712-432-0900 with the access code 199176. Join our leader, our pastor, E.W. Jackson, 
with the National Awakening Coalition conference call, joined Brother E.W. and also his sister and mine in the Lord, evangelist Dr. Al Vida King, who is, of course, the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And then also in that lineup is going to be Reverend C.L. Bryant. And we would ask you to uh, join this group of great, great dignitaries and join us in prayer time tomorrow. Now tonight, I know we normally do a one-hour program, but I think tonight, rather than try to go a full hour, I'm only going to go to the half hour, unless, of course, our phone lines get busy. If you would like to call, we encourage you to pick up the phone right now and call us at 712-432-1690. And don't forget, I'm of the opinion, even though I may be a Baptist and you may be Assembly of God or Pentecostal or Catholic or something else, I believe God is drawing this threefold cord together to bring about victory in Jesus. Now, I don't know that Mr. Trump is my brother in Christ. I've seen little or no evidence to that effect. I do not know what he's going to do, but I do know this. We need revival in America. And I believe this threefold cord can help bring about revival, especially if we have a chaplain for the White House. And that threefold cord, as I said, is the Congressional Prayer Conference of WashingtonDC.org and Prayer Warriors for Trump on Facebook and on the Internet, Shofar Call International, that I believe will draw us together. And we can sound the shofar. And I'm going to sound the shofar one more time and tell you why we're doing it. The shofar is the call to battle. Will you join us in this battle? God said, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at a place where we need not to be watered down, but we need to be cooperative together. We can do far more together than we can do separately. That's why I believe God has brought this threefold cord together from the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., from the Prayer Warriors for Trumpet, and for the Shofar Call International, which is sort of the last, if you will, proclamation of our unity in praying God's will for healing, praying God's will for repentance, and praying God's will for revival. I hope you will be a part of it. Now, if you'd like to get in touch, you can find the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. dot org. Or if you'd like to call me, you can call me on my cell phone, 714-865-8132. That's my cell phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call me and pray with me and pray for me. Also, if you'd like to email me, you can email me at Wiley Wiley, that's W-I-L-E-Y, W-I-L-E-Y, Wiley Wiley at A-T-T dot net, Wiley Wiley at A-T-T dot net. Ladies and gentlemen, be a part of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. dot org. Be a part of Prayer Warriors for Trump on Facebook and blow and be a part of Shofar Call International. They are on the internet as well. And I believe God will bless us, and I believe God will bring revival to America. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we must have revival. We must turn back to God. 
That's why when we started all of this back in the year 2000, we set a operational procedure. We set a term that we wanted to pray America back to one nation under God. That is still our goal, and that is still what we're trying to accomplish. And I hope you will join us on the Congressional Prayer Conference. I hope you'll join us on Prayer Warriors for Trump and join us in Shofar Call International and join us here on this television program and call in and share with us what God has laid on your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is not a wily thing. I believe it's a God thing, and I hope it is, and I trust that you'll be a part of it with us. So give me a call. 714-865-8132. Send me an email, wileywiley at att.net, and we'll be glad to work with you and help God use all of us together to bring revival to the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to pray America back to one nation under God. Will you join in that prayer? Oh, you may have differences with us. You may not like the way we look or the way we talk or the way we sound, but please understand, we're one in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can come together and we can pray on those things we agree upon. Join us then for the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. Join us for the Prayer Warriors for Trump and join us for So Far Call International. If you don't have a shofar, get one and let us blow the shofar. And I'm going to blow the shofar one more time to send us out tonight into the battlefield. Good night and God bless you. And with that in mind, if there's no one else on the phone, I think we'll hang the phone line up at this point. And we're going to say, even though it's early, we're going to say good night. God bless you. And may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Join us and be a part of the revival that I believe is taking place in America, across denominational lines, across racial lines, and pray for us and pray against those who would try to be distractors and who would try to cause trouble. In Jesus' name, we commit ourselves to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. And we're going to do it all under the auspices of that threefold cord. May God bless, and may God give us a great day. <laughs>